All right, hey Pisces. So I am doing a singles read for you guys and this is gonna be a quick energy check-in for those of you who are single, okay? Um, you're gonna know this is your read by your energy, your past relationship history and how you feel about love currently. So if that doesn't resonate with you, um, please check your moon rising and Venus placements, you guys. And um, what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm setting a, uh, I'm setting a three month potential intention but at the end, I'm going to get the advice over the next 30 days where you should be channeling your energy and focused, um, you're focusing your energy. All right. So um, if you're new, welcome. I do hope you guys will stick around if you like my vibe, if you like my energy. And welcome to my channel, you guys. I hope you've been doing good. All right. So I think that's it. I think that's it. So what is your energy, Pisces? Pisces energy. You are, um, a, what I want to say is you guys, for some of you guys, this could be a confirmation read. If, if, um, these synchronicities, um, you know, start formulating and you feel the energy is on point for somebody that you've recently met, um, it's, it's going to be a confirmation. All right. So I feel like, um, for some of you, you possibly have already met somebody. Um, the Knight of Pentacles energy Pisces is saying slow and steady wins the race, right? Um, your energy too, it could be that you embody some wounds from the past and you're trying to get over those humps, right? The page of cups. So it tells me that you are open to receiving love because ultimately, no matter what you've been through, um, you want commitment. You want the new beginning. You want the solid start. All right. With the Knight of Pentacles energy, this is somebody who's very, very hardworking. You, you know, likes routine, um, conservative, um, can kind of feel bored at times, um, kind of stuck energy, and maybe even tends um, to be a, a perfectionist at times. All right. And that could be your energy. It could be half the energy. It could be the positive, you know, without the negative. I just feel like you, you have your ups and downs like we all do. And your Pisces energy, your water sign, just like me. And and our emotions go up and down. And, and plus, we just had that full moon in Pisces, right? So y'all could be feeling some of that energy from that as well. Um, so let's see what your past looks like. What does your past look like? So heartbreak. Something that you thought you had. Um, basically I feel like you could, you, you, I, okay. I feel like for whoever's here, you've dealt, you've dealt or been with situations that have, uh, had third party dynamics. Okay. And basically what the three of swords is saying is that you more, more times than not, the relationships have, have left you in heartbreak. Um, and you know, unfortunately Pisces, you know, it could just be that this, that you've had a couple of relationships that ended in third party dynamic, um, cheaters, you know what I mean? Liars, manipulators, gaslighters. Um, you know, it's like they show you one thing as far as the wish fulfillment. Um, and then they, they don't deliver, they don't deliver who they show you. And I feel like they've just basically ended in, in turmoil. Um, I feel like ultimately what you do want is to come together in union with somebody. And if, if it's not multiple relationships that have cheated, I feel you've at least had one main one that's kind of stuck and really broke your heart and, and really put you in this energy or this dynamic that hasn't um, allowed for you to open yourself up to anyone else. All right. How you feel about love currently? How you feel about love right now? You're excited about it. I again, I feel like some of you guys have met somebody already. Okay. Um, how you feel about love is you're removing the confliction of the past. So you're throwing in the towel. It's like, okay, I surrender. I don't know. Um, you know, even if you haven't met somebody, this is the energy you're going to be in when you meet this person. Um, I feel like you've been waiting a while for your love life to turn around and you just want to see it come through for you. I feel like you're being your own biggest um, cheerleader right now. Um, usually we're, we are our own worst critic. I feel in this case, you're actually learning how to come out of the fear when it comes to love and romance. I feel like you're um, keeping your emotions in check and you're thinking positive. Okay. With the Knight of Wands energy, it just says that you have um, high energy, um, you know, and this, uh, this is inspired action. It's adventurous um, type of energy. And I just feel like you're energy is really something happened here. Um, if you haven't met somebody, something happened in such a way that it's, it's completely, you're just like, I'm, I'm, I'm good, man. I'm good. Let's go. Let's do this world, you know, universe, God, bring on the love, bring it to me. Um, it could be too, that you're seeing a lot of synchronicities like swans, dolphins, um, you know, pears, 
of, of dolphins, pairs of swans. It could be 1111. You could be seeing angel numbers everywhere um, and you're just ready. And I feel like too, with this energy, you're actually happy when you see people update their statuses and oh my God, you know, <laughs> so who's coming towards you? Who is coming towards Pisces? So eight of cups energy, that is uh, Pisces energy. That's Pisces energy right there. Okay, so I, I here's what I'm going to say. This person has uh, basically had their heart shaken up too. Um, I almost feel like this person's all but walked away from love, okay? Um, it, I feel like they have. I feel like the person coming towards you has actually not been in a relationship for some time, all right? I feel like this person has kept their own heart very, very protected and very guarded. Um, the Four of Pentacles is Capricorn energy. Um, so this could be a Capricorn. It could be a Pisces. And then we have the Ace of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, all right? But the person coming towards you is going to, I feel, initiate conversations. You guys will start speaking um, and it, it will lead um, to a harmonious, all right, coming together. It will lead to a harmonious union. And you guys will see um, that this is the one. You're going to feel it without a doubt. Um, you know, I feel there could be a little bit of hesitation when you first meet this person. Um, they might seem like they're really protecting their energy and their heart space. Um, so keep your eyes open to that. If you feel like you've met somebody recently and they feel a little bit guarded, um, I feel like that's the energy that's coming through here. So pay attention to that. Um, so so once you get to know them, let's see, what is it? What do they like? So this person, um, this person is uh, very, very spiritually in tune. All right. This is um, also Pisces energy. The Knight of Cups is coming through and that is uh, Scorpio and Libra energy. You got the Four of Wands coming through, which is Aries. Um, but for what this person is like, I feel like they are very, very highly intuitive. They're psychic. I do feel like they're probably on a spiritual path. Um, and if they're not, they're just very, very um, empathic. All right. And I don't know why, but like the Hayoka empath is coming into my head. Um, so very, very sensitive person coming through, but somebody who knows their value and knows what they're worth. Um, and that's a good energy to be in because typically in the negative relationship aspects, we deal with people who are unhealed. Um, they don't know love. They don't know self-love. They don't, they don't, they don't know how to take care of themselves in that aspect. Um, this person's coming through as the knight in shining armor. All right. This is somebody who's very creative, somebody who's charming. Hang on. Go. Um, somebody who's very creative, somebody who's talented, somebody who's very charming, somebody who's very individualistic. All right. Somebody who's very, very handsome, very beautiful. Um, and they have real, realistic expectations. All right. Um, on the other side of that, this person could have unrealistic expectations and they could have moody, moody um, tendencies. OK, the four of wands though, tells me that this is going to be somebody who really wants to settle down um, when you guys meet and come together. The four of wands is marriage, joy, celebration. And I feel like that's the embodiment that this person rolls through um, after you get to know them. So once you see past um, and, and into their heart, they're going to show you a world that you have not actually been able to explore with another human being. All right. So what is the short term potential? The next three months, the short term potential. Again, just keep in mind, some of you may be going through this and others of you, this is what's coming to you. Okay. So the next three months, you guys, there's going to be, there's going to be no, there's going to be no hesitation. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. Remember how I said that this person's protecting their heart space, um, their inner conflict, they'll be coming out of that with the five of swords in reverse with the seven of swords in reverse. It says that this person's actually going to lower their guard for you. Okay. They're, they're not going to be afraid of putting themselves out there and um, allowing their heart space to open to you. And it, with the star card, I just feel whatever intention you set when it comes to this connection, you're going to be receiving it, whether it's, um, you know, the title, um, the boundaries, um, you know, I don't want to date. I don't want my energy played with. I want to be boyfriend and girlfriend, or we need to take it to the next level. I feel like the star card is granting you that access to tell this person exactly what you want. Um, and, and for you to be receiving that energy with this person. Um, but obviously they have to get to know you first. Okay. Um, so what is your advice? Where should you be focusing your energy in the next 30 days?
So just focusing on your spiritual path. If there's anything from your past that needs to be cleared, now is the time to clear that energy. All right. This The page of wands indicates a spiritual journey. So for those of you who do feel like you're on that spiritual path, continue on it and continue to heal anything from your past that's not working. Um, I feel the queen of swords is coming through because there could be some divine feminine aspect in your life playing a role that's kind of stopping the connection from coming through. Um, and I don't mean physically, I mean like mentally. So if you got mental blocks because of a mother a father uh, aunts and uncle you know i just feel more of a feminine energy coming through here but um with the queen of swords coming in reverse i feel like there could be some blocks um that you need to release um and just set the intention that i'm not going to let this person bother me or my love or anything else so if you didn't receive something from somebody in the past it's time to let that go wish them well um and 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 just put that intention to the universe because um, releasing is between you and the universe. It's not between you and another person. All right. Fully just kind of focused on your own independence right now, your own um, stability and um, your own self care and self love. So your angels and spirit guides just want you to focus on yourself and healing um, dynamics and aspects of the past that you might feel are still a little bit unhealed. Um, the reason why I'm bringing up the mother figures um and, and I don't want to put my own business out there is, is I had this uh, epiphany the other day that there was some unhealed um, mother wounds in my own journey. Um, and I'm like, God, I, I just, I really just need to write a letter and set the intention for that, you know, and I didn't even realize it um, because I do want my, my relationship when I have it to be perfect, you know, no fighting, no, no. And you know, it's unrealistic, but just no, I don't, we don't want the past. We don't want the unhealed trauma and wounds that we have, that we've seen, that we've dealt with, um, and, you know, that we've witnessed. We don't want those. All right. So the initials I'm going to pull are more for the person coming towards you. But if your initials come through, um, all the better for you guys. All right. You got L, K, W, Q, Z, A, and E. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. I do hope if this resonates, you will um, be so kind as to interact with the video. Um, and if not, it's fine too. You guys, I love you so much. Take care.